South Florida, it's no secret. We're feeling less motivated than ever, not just to move, but to achieve new goals, take on a new activity, maybe even a new job. So here helping us, she's got the solutions, lifestyle expert and author of What If It Were Easy, Sonia Satra. So let's talk about the mindset reset. You know, how do we put that into play and when do we realize we really need that? Well, I think we probably all need it every day. <laughs> right. Valid. Yes. But, but I think when you're really starting to feel sluggish, or you're starting to feel unmotivated, or you just don't have that creative or the energy to really, mm -hmm. uh, you know, light up your life, that's when this can really kick in and be helpful. And it is a culmination of really coaching questions, mindset questions, combined with exercise. And the exercise supercharges the ability to manifest things. Uh, what we know now about exercise is that you're more creative, you're more focused, you are a better problem solver, you can make better decisions, it taps the same motivation side of your brain. So it's a win, 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 win. And I love to <laughs> win and I'm sure all South Florida does yeah. too. And what about for individuals that maybe aren't, don't have the access to as much movement? You know, I'm assuming there's still ways that you can oh, yeah. integrate movement into that, you know, bringing that mindset reset, correct? Absolutely, it's completely, you just do what's right for you and what's right for you on any given day. Cause some days you may not be able to do something or if you have an injury or if you are just not as mobile you can absolutely start slowly. I actually, one of my clients was 500 pounds and she lost 300 pounds doing this. And so obviously she was not that mobile in the beginning, right. but it was doing the mindset. And that's what she'll say. It's less mm -hmm. about the exercise than really the mindset that made the transformation happen. Could you give me an example of kind of like maybe one of those mindset things and like one of the practices of movement that we can get from your book? So it's a, well, first it's a process. So mm -hmm. it's a seven step process where you go through and so you imagine what it's like to have it happen mm -hmm. and then you look what do you have and maybe we'll do things like bicep curls like pulling in what do you have or jump rope you know what do you rope in what do you need maybe you need to grab stuff right pull in uh, what's stopping you we'll do a little uh, prisoner squats what's holding you in your own prison ooh, ooh. <laughs> we dump it that's some of people's favorite yeah. is literally like we burn it mm -hmm. so imaginary fire burning it mm -hmm. and we'll sort of shuffle burn and then replace it and then take action because you know you still have to take action to make things happen Ben. And I love that too because that really brings in the awareness of our mindfulness, which I think you're really checking a lot of boxes yeah. with your book. You're growing as a person, you're growing maybe your bank account with a new job. Absolutely. And, you know, just Somebody just so got that. They <laughs> just read the book. They're like, oh my God, it works. I just got an acting job. Oh right. We were just God. talking about that, how perfectly yes. you timed the book with right. the actor strike right there. I mean, it sounds like you're just helping so many people with yeah. this book. And I imagine, you know, what was the process from when you were feeling this way and going into the book? You know, did, was it for yourself or you just really wanted to help people? people who are going through the same things. Gosh, you know, I think I, I, I used Modicize, which is what it really is, motivational exercise years ago when I was acting I because I was, you know, getting rejected a lot and I, I knew I needed something. So I used to run in the Santa Monica Canyon mm -hmm. and ask these questions and visualize and do affirmations. I even used to, at the top of the hill, I realized if you yelled something, it would echo back. So I would yell out, you got the job. And then I'd hear it back, you got the job. <laughs> and I'd celebrate. <laughs> and I only want to hear good news from yeah, myself. Exactly. Anyway. But you know what? I got a job. I was running down there and actually I got the call for, for one is, life to live. I was like, you got the job. I'm like, yes. That is amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing your expertise and knowledge. And you're already helping so many people, including myself, because yes. I can't wait to use those techniques. Thank you again, Sonia, for being on the show with us. Thank you. And